In this example, we want to determine the values of h such that the given matrix is the omitted matrix of a consistent linear system. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, apply the row operations so that we can get this um, uh, matrix that you see here in augmented form. Okay, so since we have a minus 2 in row 2, column 1, then what we need to do is we need to uh, multiply the first row by 2 and then we're going to add that to row 2 and then store the result in row 2. Okay, so so that is an, a um, row operation. Okay. okay, so again, we're going to take 2 times row 1, add it to row 2, and store that result in row 2. Okay. So we're going to get 1h minus 3 for the first row. Okay, and for the second row, we're going to get, so we have 2 minus 2, which is 0, and then we're going to have uh, 2 times h plus 4. Okay, so I need to make some more room here. So we have 2h plus 4. Okay, we can put the h here, and then we have a minus 3 here. And and then we're going to get uh, 2 times negative 3 is so negative 6 plus 6 will give us 0. Okay. So now this is this is what we're what we need to look at here. Okay. So what this is saying is that uh, if 2h plus 4 is 0, this is going to give us a consistent system. Okay. All right. So. Okay, so again, this is this part here translates into the following. So we have 2h plus 4, so that is the coefficient in front of x2. Okay, so I'm using x2 as the variable here. Okay, equals to 0. Okay, all right. Okay, so in this case, uh, h, okay, h can be. Um, really here h can be anything okay because we have zero on the right hand side so it doesn't matter what h is we can always find a solution and that is x2 okay well right x2 can be equals to zero okay all right so h so therefore h can be any value Okay, even if it was minus 2, okay, if h was minus 2, we, we would get negative 4 plus 4, which is 0. We still get, you know, we get 0 times x2 equals a 0, which is true, okay. So h can be any value here for this system, okay. All right, so h can be, so h can be any value, okay. So this, is, this system is consistent for all h, okay. for all values of h. Okay. Okay, so that's that is the solution here. Okay, so so for every value of h, the system is consistent.